The region of Latin America and the Caribbean has as much as 28% of the world's freshwater resources and contains three of the largest river basins and groundwater reservoirs in the world. In the Andean region, glacier meltwater is crucial to maintain ecosystem services and is used to supply its population with drinking water and to sustain important economic activities. Dry lands and desert make up to 35% of the region and provide a living for more than 150 million people. These livelihoods are dependent on limited water resources, making them highly vulnerable to climatic vulnerability and climate change. The region, however, is also very vulnerable to water-related hazards. Since 2008, the dry lands of Chile have suffered a seven-year drought, which coincided with the warmest decade in 100 years. In Brazil, that accounts for 12% of the world's fresh water. The city of Sao Paulo has suffered two of the driest seasons on record, back to back, severely affecting its nine million residents. Also in Central America, the lack of rain since the middle of 2014 has resulted in a loss of crops and cattle in Honduras and Guatemala, putting the livelihood of thousands of people at risk. A significant increase in floods has been observed over the last decades in the region. The most recent flood event in Chile has had a devastating impact on the northern, arid region of the country, affecting more than 30,000 people. Climate change is expected to impact water-related disasters even further. Over the last four decades, many of the glaciers in the Andes have lost up to 40% of their mass due to the changing climate, which is expected to affect the available water resources downstream in the following decades. Higher temperatures and changes in precipitation are also expected to increase the occurrence of droughts and floods in the region. The International Hydrological Program of UNESCO, with support from the Flemish government, has engaged with the countries in the region to strengthen the capacities to address this increased vulnerability and to develop adaptation strategies by building national and regional observatories, monitoring and early warning capacities of drought and flood hazards have been significantly improved. This has also led to a better integration of the different actors at the national level, resulting in a more proactive drought management capacity. More than 300 participants from 26 countries received capacity building during the project on different topics, including drought management tools, adaptation strategies for improved water management, and the development of climate change scenarios for vulnerable catchments. The project has also empowered local highland communities to strengthen their water use efficiency and has worked with water managers to support climate-informed decisions making underwater scarcity conditions. Building further on the Jiwadi Global Network on Water Resource Management in Arid Zones, UNESCO will further collaborate with the countries in the region to improve their capacities to address water resource challenges in their drylands. <laughs>